cry, oh God. You cry, Abba Father. Hallow be your name. We pray, Abba Father. Hallow be your name. Hallow be your name. We cry, we cry, Abba Father. Hallow be your name. Hallow be your name. Lift up your voice and worship him. Hallow his holy name this morning. For his faithfulness, for his mercy, for his loving kindness, for his caring, for his support, for hearing our cry, for answer prayers, for strength to wait upon him. For divine enablement, for his patience over our lives. Can you just lift up your voice and thank him for fighting your battle, for all and victory, for good health and the gift of life, for victory upon victory. Bless the Lord this morning. Bless him with all that is within you. Appreciate God for the works of your hand. Thank him on behalf of your entire family. Thank him for another brand new day. For the thing he has in store for us today. Bless his holy name. Let God hear your voice. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Can you go ahead and begin to plead the blood of Jesus over your body, soul, and spirit? Because of the cleansing power in the blood. The blood that was shed for the remission of our sin. The blood that washed away our sins, our transgressions, our iniquity. Go ahead, plead the blood this morning. Say, Father, I approve the throne of grace by the blood. Daddy, purify me. Lord, purge me this morning. Hear my cry, O oh God. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we are praying. I told someone who said a better I want you to lift up your two hands this morning and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, let me not seek you in vain. For your word it is written, though that seek you early we find you. Lord, I need you. Let me find you today. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Say, Father, as I seek you today, let me find you. Lord, let me find you. Lord, let me find you today. Lord, let me you Is someone praying at all? Those that are seeking early, Shall find him. Oh, my rebo to Gashen Talmama Santon de Lobosi Catalema Rakuta Gashen Telemama Cassantali. In Jesus' mighty name, you will find God. Psalm 6 8, verses 1 to 3. Let God arise. Let his enemy be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As, his, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As was melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish. At the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Let God arise. And his enemy is God. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Oh God, I can't. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Let God arise. And his enemy be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemy be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemy be scattered. One of the strategy of the enemy is that they gather against their victim. Praise the Lord. Why do they need to gather? They gather because they also know that there is strength in unity. At times they conspire, at times they network. We all know the story of Joseph. How his brother conspired against him. We all know the story of Daniel. How the people gathered against him. We all know the story of Jehoshaphat. How kings like him gathered against him. Beloved, you can never be too sure if there are no people that are gathering against you. You may be thinking you don't have anything. Maybe thinking, oh, I am nobody. But listen to me. Whatever level you are today, there are people praying to be like you. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you doubt me, today you are standing on your two legs. There are people that are not able to stand on their legs as at this morning. And they are praying, let me also stand on my leg like others. Am I correct? There are people without hand. Praise the Lord. There are people without eyes. There are people that are bedridden. So you, you, for you to be standing here, there are people praying to be like you. And I have confidence this morning that anywhere they are gathered against you, any quarter, God will arise for you and fulfill his word and scatter them all. Can you lift up your two hands? Are they gathering against your business? Are they gathering against your marriage? Are they gathering against your children? Are they gathering against your finances? Are they gathering against you in your workplace? Are they gathering against you in your neighborhood? Say, Father! Every gang God from whatever quarter, every conspiracy, every satanic networking against my progress, against my promotion, against my fruitfulness, against my increase, against my prosperity, against my joy. Step up! Lift up your voice and talk to the mighty God. Add the Lord to scatter. Is somebody praying at all? Ask God to scatter. Baba, everywhere they are guarding against me. Any quarter. Pukata and the Libo Sakata. Anywhere they guarding against your church. Anywhere they guarding against city of light. Anywhere they guarding against my children, my spouse, my ministry. Ah, every evil networking. Every satanic conspiracy in my workplace. Hey, Kakuta Bayekaka. Lebronoko Santalia. Anyone that come into agreement to afflict me. Kasuka Lababa. To hinder my progress. To stand against me. Ah, Marema Makasanda. To see my end. Oh, Paliba Baba Mashantali. Lord, let them scatter. Lord, scatter them. Lord, scatter them. I command confusion. I command division. I command disagreement. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, they are scattered. Little of your twin. All those that hate you are planning your downfall. In that name, there is above every other name. All of them will fall for your sake. So, lift up your voice and say, Father, all those that hate me. I'm planning for my downfall. That does not want to see my greatness. 
that does want to see my promotion that does want to see me prosper oh god my father Ara, Ara, Ara. let them perry before me oh let them perry before me masuka la botega chantali mama rakaka baba 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 jelele gazunta bale baba rakuta gajanta le mama kasunta li zebale boto gajanta le mama samplado kasankata talk to the almighty god talk to the almighty god zabole boto gajanta le mama thank you mighty father in jesus mighty name we are praying as smoke is driven away so dry them away god will drive away your enemy god will drive away sorrow in your life drive away sickness drive away lack drive away poverty say father say father say father our smoke is driven away drive away all my enemy take them far away from me drive away sickness drive away diseases drive away lack drive away poverty drive away arm robbers drive away kidnappers drive away ritual killers drive away drive away drive away drive away drive away open your mouth to the almighty god masuka la botega shanta libama drive them away lord drive away tragedies calamities every form of evil drive them away from me oh god drive them away from my children from my wife from my ministry drive them away from your church hey every evil doers lord drive them away from us in jesus mighty name we are praying as was melted before the fire so let the wicked perish at the presence of god lift up your two hands and say father, father. say father. father everyone planning wickedness against me wherever they may be let them perish in your presence let them perish now open your mouth and touch the almighty god let the wicked perish before me let them perish everyone planning wickedness against me and my children lord let them perish Makuta ba shenta li mama Zopa la prade kete ga shenta li mama Rakaka ba kuta Ko le prade kete ga shenta li mama Kabo shepandalale Zantanda la boca santa And so shall it be in Jesus name Say but let the righteous be glad Let them rejoice before God. Ye, let them exceedingly rejoice. Lift up your joy and say, Father, Father, I hand over my life into your hand. I hand over my family into your hand. I hand over my day into your hand. Oh God, my Father, let me be glad. Let me have reason to rejoice. Let me rejoice exceedingly. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Is someone praying at all? Father, let me be glad. I am my entire household. Will not sorrow, will not mourn, will not weep. Daddy, cause us to rejoice. Lord, cause us to rejoice. Oh, let us rejoice exceedingly. Oh, let us exceedingly rejoice. Let us exceedingly rejoice. Every day of my life, let me have reason to rejoice. Parima to gashen tali mama Makuto bale baba Rakapa labato gashen tali mama Thank you mighty father In Jesus Most wonderful name we are praying Now lift up your two hands to heaven And say father We can do better Say father 
Without you, I can do nothing. Arise for my help today. Let today, oh God, be a fruitful day for me. Let today be a day of glad tidings. Let today be a day of breakthrough. May today a day of my celebration. Let only good things happen to me today. Take all evil away from me. Whatever evil I should start with this day, let it never be my portion. Let the forces of the day cooperate with me. The forces of the night, let them cooperate with me. Let every element of creation, let them support me today. Can you go ahead and begin to talk to the Almighty God? As you hand over your day into the hands of the Lord, mighty and everlasting Father, take over my day. <laughs> Guide me today. Order my footsteps today. Let me be at the right place at the right time today. Let me not go astray today. Do wonders in my life today. Masuka la bote gashen alimama. Mara ba 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 ba. Let me have reason to rejoice. I will not sorrow today. I will not mourn today. I will not know evil today. I will not see evil today. Kalima manka shentalia. You will change my level today. I will not be at the level I was yesterday today. In the name of Jesus, you will take me higher. I shall be remembered for good today. You will command your help. You will command your blessings upon my life today. Ah, you will uphold me in righteousness today, in holiness today. I see great to do your will today. I see great to please you today. I see great to overcome every temptation that will come my way today. I say I will not fall into the trap of my enemy. Let all element of creation cooperate with me today. Let every element of creation, the sun, the moon, the star, oh, the waters, the sea, oh, let them cooperate with me today. Sakuta bale mama, my blessing will not be hijacked today. Today. my blessing will not be stolen today my blessing will not be delayed today my blessing will not will not be sit upon today in the name of jesus thank you mighty father in jesus mighty name your prayers are answered i don't know who this fellow is you have been having a repeated dream and that dream have brought fear into your life. God asked me to tell you that you shouldn't worry that he has taken care of it. I don't know who that fellow is. Daddy will say thank you. Lord will say good morning. Thank you for what you did yesterday. Thank you for grace to wait upon you. Thank for grace to seek you. Thank you for those that seek you early will find you. Thank you for who will find you today. Thank you for the power and the blood we have for us today. Daddy, it's in your name I pray for every one of your children. Anywhere you hear a loud die, amen. Every gang up and conspiracy against them. Lord, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. As smoke is driven away, let the almighty God drive all your enemy away out of your life in the name of Jesus. God will drive sickness out of your body, diseases out of your body, lack out of your life, poverty out of your life, sorrow out of your life, in the name of Jesus. Everyone planning wickedness against you. Let them perish in the presence of God in the name of Jesus. All those that hate you, let them perish before you in the name of Jesus. Today, you shall be glad. You will rejoice. And you will exceedingly rejoice. You will not have reason to sorrow today. You will not weep today. Everywhere you go today, the presence of God will go with you. God will guide you today. God will lead you today. God will help you today. God will support you today. God will stand by you today. God will defend you today. God will fight your battle today. God will lead you today. The Lord will save you today. In the name of Jesus. Wherever your blessings are today, I command, let your leg carry you there. Every blessing meant for you today, I command, let your hand receive it in the name of Jesus. 
know that hijack blessing, they will not hijack your blessing today. Those that steal blessing will not steal your blessing today. Those that divert blessing, they will not divert your blessing today. Anyone sitting upon your blessing, let God don't see them in animal chiller. Your expectation will not be cut short. It will be well with you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Five prayer, five powerful amen. Want to go? Amen. Two, amen. three, amen. four, amen. five. Little be right and answer with me. I bowed and I worshiped Jehovah God. The omnipotent, omnipresent signs, and omnipresent God. He is the ever present God, the ever knowing God, and the ever powerful God. He alone is worthy to be praised and adored. He speaks and it is done. Forever I will magnify the name of the Lord. And his praises shall never cease from my mouth. I declare and I confess concerning me and my household that we shall have reason to be glad and rejoice. Because the Lord of hosts will not spear any of our enemies the Lord shall avenge for us and we shall be victorious I declare and I confess that the Lord shall arise for me and all my enemies shall, shall be scattered they shall be driven away like smoke and they shall perish before, me, before my God like was met before the fire who can battle with my God? He's the Lord of hosts. I declare and I confess that by the strong hand of the Lord, I shall be delivered from all my enemy and I shall be lifted. I shall succeed. I shall prosper and I shall rejoice exceedingly. I'll finish well. I'll finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to her. I will reign eternity. I will love the Lord and I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Why I blind the Holy Ghost for one minute? So, Kalima to Gashen Talimama. Makuta Bashen Talimama Kaso Tali. Raka pala prondo koto ga shente li mama Zazala mato ga shente li Sondololo Gabore mate ga shente li Thank you mighty father In Jesus Most wonderful name we are praying Amen. You will surely rejoice Amen. Because all your confession Will come to pass Amen. They shall become testimonies In your life because anyone saying they will not come to power will be destroyed. Amen. And as the Lord have heard, you spoken it to his ears, so shall he do. Amen. Name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Three powerful women want to go. Amen. Amen. Can you jam your hands together? For the Almighty God. Is that all you can do? I thought somebody would make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Well, I don't know who this fellow is, but I believe it's me. As I pray for you, your greatness shall increase. I say your greatness shall increase. Please be seated. Last week, we look at wings as ego. Am I correct? And by the way, don't forget tomorrow will be our deliverance service. If you know anyone that needs deliverance, do them good and invite them. We look at wings as ego. 
this morning we want to start by looking at wings to fly wings to do all to fly little wonder yesterday we talked about anointing for speed our test remain Isaiah 40 27 to 31 why see thou O Jacob and speak to Israel my way is hid from the Lord and my judgment is passed over for my God has thou not known has thou not heard that the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the end of the earth fainteth not neither is weary there is no such shame of his understanding he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no mind he increases strength God will increase your strength even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Only somebody say better amen. amen. When the Bible says they that wait upon the law shall renew their strength and they shall matter with wings. You and I know that the wing is mostly useful for what? Huh? Flying. I know they use the wing to also cover for protection. Am I correct? But one of the major purpose why birds have wings is the fact that they are able to do what? Fly. The difference between a vehicle and an aeroplane is the wing. The moment you remove the wings of an aeroplane, that aeroplane can play the role of a boss. Why? He has tire. Two. He has shears. He has driving wheel. He can move on the ground. Praise the Lord. But what differentiates it from the boss is what? The wings. The wings that you need to be differentiated for others, the Lord will give to you. So when God says, you will mat up wings as an eagle, the implication is that it is time to do what? Say it loud and clear now. It's time to fly. That's why that Exodus chapter 19 verse 4, we say that ye have seen what I did unto the eagle, uh, unto the Egyptian rather, and how I bear you on what? Eagle swing. And brought you unto what? Myself. The moment an ego begin to grow wings at the stage of an eaglet that eaglet knows that days of some level of comfort is over it is time to change levels it is time to do what? To change levels so, wings to fly means it is time. It's what? 
I can't hear that angle. It is time to do all to fly. And to fly is to change level. Can I pray for only one person? Nothing will stop your change of level. You don't stay on the ground to fly. Do you? You go up to do what? To fly. I am praying for you, sir. I am praying for you, man. Everything that has to do with your life, I mean your business, your finances, your career, your job, your ministry, your children, God will change your level. You are saying amen, say it loud and clear. For you to change level, you must come out of your comfort zone. I don't know if I have told you here before how an eagle make their nest. You know, every bird make a nest. I call it when they want to reproduce. An eagle will make his nest with tongues. You know what tongues are? Chuku chuku. Praise God. That is the background that they use. And then they will now put grasses to provide what? Cushion. To provide comfort. So that when the eaglet is in the nest, even though the nest is made up of uh, thorns, it does not feel it. But when it is time to fly, <laughs> when it is time for the eaglet to fly, the mother eagle will remove all the comfort. All the what? All the what? All the comfort. <laughs> Praise God. So that the inside of the nest is no longer what? But the fact that it's no longer comfortable will trigger the reason why the eaglet itself wants to do what? Want to go out and fly. Hello. Little wonder. The condition to matter wing is that they that will do what? Who wait upon the Lord. You must let go some comfort. Comfort of three square meals. Comfort of meals. Is somebody with me? So that I can be able to do what? Why? You need to be light to be able to do what? To fly. When you carry excess load, you cannot do what? You cannot fly. How many of us want to fly? I decrease her. Whatever that need to go for you to fly, let God separate you now. You are saying amen, say loud and clear. That's why the Bible says. In Isaiah 43 verse 19 He said behold I will do a new thing Now shall he not spring forth Shall he not know it I will even make a way in the wilderness And rivers in the It's a new thing When the one that was running Now begin to Fly You will fly in Jesus name To fly implied it is time to get spiritually matured. You don't remember where you were last year spiritually. It is time for you to hunger for more of God. Do you know why? The moment the eagle knows that it is time to fly. The error of the mother eagle hunting food for the eaglet is over. Hello? It is now the turn of the eaglet 
to hunt food for himself. Praise the Lord. It is time to get spiritually what? Matured. That's why First Peter chapter 2 verse 2 say as newborn babes desire the same of the world that ye may do all grow thereby. It takes you becoming matured to be able to fly. The question is why must I be eager? Why must I be willing? Why must I fly? I'm not want to fly. God will cause you to fly. Why must I fly? By tomorrow we'll tell you what you need to fly. But why must I fly? Number one, when you begin to fly, you become special and noticeable. You become what? Listen to me. Because you are on the ground, nobody is seeing you. Amen. How many of us remember that thing we call kite? Kite that we used to make as children. You just cut nylon and put broom and tie it, isn't it? When the kite is with you, while you are putting and fixing the thread to launch it, praise God, nobody sees it. Am I correct? But when you run, and then launch the kite. I don't know about you, but in those days in our old time in the village, when we launch our kite, other people look at it from other villages. They'll be seeing the kite up there. It will become noticeable. It will be so noticeable that they will even know the village from where they are launching the <laughs> and I pray for only one person they will soon know your village <laughs> I said they will soon know your village because you are like kites <laughs> you are going to be flying and when you will be flying they will begin to ask where is he from hello as I speak to you now even the neighbor beside you does not know where you come from. But very soon, when you shall begin to fly, they will know who your parents are. They will know where you came from. God will make you noticeable. Lift up your two hands and lift up your hands and cry like that and say, Father, let me fly. Let me become special. Can you go ahead and touch with Almighty God? Oh, my Reba Baka Shent Alibama. Sakala Batega Shent Alibama. Zabosh Keteka Zint Alibama. Oh, are you praying at all? Say, Lord, let me become special. Lord, make me special. Make me special. In my business, in my ministry, in my career, everywhere I go, Lord, make me special. Let me become noticeable. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. But then when you begin to fly, you don't need to write your autobiography. Men we come, journalists we come, they say, sir, give us permission to write your autobiography. Praise God. By that time, everybody wants to be re relating to you. Everybody wants to be connected to you. If you don't believe me, look at the story of Joseph. Joseph became special and noticeable when he began to fly. When he was a slave in Potiphar's house, nobody knows him. 
When he was in prison, nobody knows him. But when Joseph began to fly, the whole of Egypt knew who Joseph was. Not only that, they knew he was a Hebrew. Not only that, his parents and his family located the here he was and they saw his glory because it became visible and noticeable. I stand here today before the end of this year they shall notice your glory. I said they will notice your glory. And brother, I don't have to scream. Whatever that is proceeding from my mouth they will come to pass. I speak one more time. Masuka bayekata. Lepo toga jiantanda lakate gazantalia. They shall notice your glory. Number two. Why must I fly? Beloved, when you fly, you cannot easily be hindered cannot easily do what? That's why you fly above mountains. You fly above hills. When you are on the ground, you can easily jam obstacles. You can easily jam barriers. You can easily hit the rock. But when you are flying, listen to me, everywhere is cleared. Am I correct? You see the height that the aeroplane fly? Am I correct? Am I correct, sir? Have you had before that an aeroplane jam one mountain? Eh? You are unhindered. Can I pray for you, sir? The level we are not shall be able to withstand you. We are not shall be able to stand on your way. God will take you there. Lift up your two hands. I don't know who this fellow is. You are flying above mountains. You are flying above hills. You are flying above the sea and the waters. Lift up your hands and say, Father. Say, Father. Give me wings to fly above mountains above hills above the sea above the water let me be on hinder clear every barrier clear every obstacle on my way to destination of greatness can you go ahead and touch Almighty God you have a destination it is the destination of greatness let God cause you to fly so that you are unhindered. Masuka la baka santa libaba. Karabate gajente libaba. Masuka la brande ka santa li. Unhindered. Unhindered. Oh. Thank you, mighty father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I thought someone would say a louder amen. amen. Beloved, when Joshua begin to fly, you are still praying. When Joshua began to do what? Fly. To fly. God said to him, no man shall be able to do all, all the days of your when you begin to fly your enemy will look like ants before you when you are in the aeroplane and you look down when you are standing you will see tall beauty isn't it you call them skyscrapers Gigantic buildings. Am I correct? But when you go up, 
that giganti building will just look like a bungalow. It will look like a butter house. It becomes so small. Can I pray for you that? God will belittle your enemy before you. Say, Father, let me fly and let all my enemy be small before me. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? That God will make your enemy small before you. When you begin to fly, your enemy becomes small before you. <laughs> Oh, you just take a look at them and just and just walk away. For no man shall be able to withstand you. Daddy, let me fly. Hey, Kalima Kason Talimama. Let my destiny be unhindered. Sapolema Kashen Talimama. Hey, Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Be seated. Let me just give you two more, and then we continue tomorrow. Let us not forget that um, we have uh, digging deep in the evening, and we are talking about being led by the by the Spirit. So I encourage you not to miss it. Number three, why must I fly? When you fly. Your vision become clearer. Your vision become what? Clearer. clearer. You can see far. Amen. Amen. Go and ask pilots. Go and ask pilots. Go and ask flyers. Those that fly often. When you are in the plane, you just see everywhere. Praise the Lord. I told you here before. There is nothing as terrible as a man being blind. And the worst of it is to be spiritually blind. That's why the Bible says when he anoint you with the eyes out, the scale will fall off and your vision become clearer. I pray for you today. You will see beyond where you used to see. You will see what others cannot see. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. God will give you your spiritual eyes. He will enlighten your eyes of understanding. Every satanic scale covering your eyes, I command, let them fall off in the name of Jesus. Stand on your feet and lift up your hands and say, Father, Father open, my open my eyes. Give me clearer vision this year. Amen. Let me see what others cannot see. Let me fly that I may see far. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. Sapale Moto Gashen Talimama. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You are still praying. When Elisha began to fly, he could see far what others cannot see. That was why when the Syrian army came and encamped around about his house, and the servant woke up in the morning and said, Ah, Master, we are finished. Because his vision is limited. He has no clearer vision. And then Elijah took a look at it and said, Lord, open his eye. And when God opened his eye, he saw sheriffs of fire, sheriffs of horses surrounding them. It takes high flyer to see what others cannot see. Lift up your two hands and pray for yourself and say, Father, give me the eyes of Elisha throughout this year. Let me not walk in darkness. Can you go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself?
Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Why remain standing? Lastly, when you fly, you become unreachable for your enemy. They want to reach you, they cannot. Praise God. When you are still on ground, they can come and knock at your door. <laughs> Praise God. But when you are in the air, oh, they will just be looking at you. They can't reach you. Their hand can't touch you. Even when they fire their arrow, there is an extent that the arrow can never reach you. Listen, I never want to fly. Oh my God. Lift up your two hands. Say, Father. Make me unreachable to my enemies. That my enemy will not be able to touch me. Take me to that height. That it doesn't matter how hard my enemy try. He will not be able to reach me. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Are you praying at all? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Take your last prayer point and do your hand as you want to fly. You know how we do in those days. And say, My Father, my Father, my Father. I receive wing to fly. And all of my days, let me fly. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. Receive your wings. Receive your wings. Receive your wings to fly. Receive your wings. Receive your wings. Oh, masukata la brande kasantali, shekete le brande kasantali, mama. Receive wings. Receive wings. Receive wings. Spiritual wings. Physical wings. Financial wings. Material wings, ministerial wings, every kind of wings that you need to fly, receive it now. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. <laughs> you know I'm laughing. You know I'm laughing. The kind of wings I am asking you to receive. It is not the wings of a hawk or of a pigeon. I saw some of you do your hand like this. Leke, leke, bami leke. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I said, let somebody shout hallelujah. I told you, eagle does not fly, flapping his wings. He swore. He glides in the wind. Hello, can you glide? Can you glide in the wings? Just glide. Just be going. Zzz. The wind will be kind. Of, ah. That's the kind of wind you will fly on in the name of Jesus. Amen. Step out your hands to the altar. Let me pray for you. <laughs> Mighty and everlasting Father, we thank you for the wings. Wings to fly. It's in your name I pray for everyone under the influence of my voice. You become special. Amen. From now on, they will notice your glory. Amen. Everywhere you go, your glory will not be hidden. Amen. I decree in that name that's above every other name. From today onward, you are unhindered. Amen. You are unstoppable. Amen. The Lord will clear every barrier before you. Amen. And may the Lord give you a clearer vision. Amen. You will see what others cannot see. You will see beyond the ordinary. Receive the eyes of Elisha. You will never walk in darkness. And I decree. You will be unreachable to your enemy. No matter how high they fly their arrow. It will never touch you. And as you receive the wings. May it be wings of an eagle. Amen. Wings of an eagle. Amen. Wings of an eagle. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. God the Son. Amen. 
God the Holy Spirit. Lift up your offering and say, Father, give me financial wings to fly. That will never be poor in my life. Go ahead and touch to the Almighty God. Lord, give me financial wings to fly. That will never be that will never be poor. I will never lack. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray for you. The financial wing you need to fly. That you never know poverty. May the Lord release to you. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. I tell the blood God say better. Be powerful. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We'll see you tomorrow. And we meet later in the evening. For our digging deep. Somebody turned 60 today. In that name that's above every other name. The blessing of 60 years. Let God release to you in the name of Jesus. And everything that will make your life better than the one you have spent. Receive it in Jesus' name. The grace.